Now, let's do some questions related to word problems. The question says, a route up a mountain is 20 km long. John followed this route at an average speed of x km per hour. The very first part, the question says, write down an expression in terms of x for the number of hours he took to walk up the mountain. Now, we know the formula that is distance is equals to speed into time. Just make sure that all the units are balanced out. This is in kilometers. This is x kilometer per hour. That means the time will be in hours. So let me write this down. This is kilometer. Speed is kilometer per hour. Naturally, the time has to follow the balance. It should be in hour. Now, we are interested in finding an expression for time. So therefore, time equals to distance divided by speed. What is the distance? That is 20. And what is the speed? That is x kilometer per hour for one mark. This is the expression that we get. Now, let's move ahead and go to the next part. Now, the next part says, he came down the mountain. First, he was going up. Now, he is coming down the mountain by a different route. The length of this route was 25 kilometers. His average speed coming down the mountain was 2 kilometers per hour greater than his average speed going up the mountain. Now, this is the average speed going up the mountain. Now, the very first thing that I should write down is that on the way down, his speed is x plus 2 km per hour. The distance is 25 kilometers. Therefore, when it's asking for an expression in terms of x for the number of hours, that is the time, we will again use the same formula. So, we will write time equals distance divided by speed. How much is the distance? That is 25. How much is the speed? That is x plus 2. This is the other expression, again for one mark. Now keep in mind, there are no half marks in CAI or Excel O-level math. So this is what you are getting. Either you are getting the mark or you are not getting the mark. So one mark for this, one mark for this. That's how you earn marks. Now, let's look at the next part. Now it says, it took John one and a half hour less to come down than to go up. What does it mean? It means that the time to go up is greater than time to come down. Therefore, time up minus time down should equal to one and a half, which is three over two of an hour. This time, the one written in purple, that's the time to go up. This time, that's written in red, that's the time to go down. So therefore, 20 over x minus 25 over x plus 2, this equals to 3 over 2. So let me just do this correction over here. So this is 25 over here, and that is the equation. This will earn me one mark. So let me write one mark over here. Now, write down an equation in x and show that it simplifies too. So we have to simplify it. So therefore, we will write 20 over x minus 25 over x plus 2 equals 2, 3 over 2. Now, the first thing is that we should always work in fractions. Secondly, we should be very, very careful with the units. Since we are dealing with kilometers and kilometers per hour, in hour, everything should be balanced. So this is one and a half hour. That is 1.5 hour. But we are writing it as a fraction. So this is the fraction that we get. Now, what do we do? On the left-hand side, we should take LCM. So let me take LCM. So this is x bracket x plus 2. This 20 multiplies with x, negative sign as it is, 25 multiplies, my bad. Let me do the correction. 
This is 20 multiplying with x plus 2 minus 25 multiplying with x. This is 3 over 2. So now first simplify. That is 20x plus 40 minus 25x divided by x bracket x plus 2 is 3 over 2. So when we simplify, this is 20x. This is negative 25x. That is 40 minus 5x. And this is x squared plus 2x. And this equals to 3 over 2. So let's cross multiply. This multiplies with this. This 3 multiplies with this. So this is 80 minus 10x. That is 3x squared plus 6x. And let's transfer everything to right hand side. So 3x squared plus 6x plus 10x minus 80 equals to 0. Therefore, 3x squared plus 16x minus 80 equals to 0. That is what we are getting. 3, 16, negative 80. That is what we got. So now, first of all, we are getting this. So another two marks for this working. So one mark we got for this thing. And then working this whole thing out all the way over here, that will earn me another two marks. Now, they are giving us four marks for this part. Solve this equation, giving both answers correct to three decimal places. Therefore, we have to use the quadratic formula. And we have to work in four decimal places. That is the working level of accuracy. That is why we will finalize and get the answer correct to three decimal places. So let's do this thing first. So part D, we have AX squared plus BX plus C equals to zero. That is the general form. This thing is 3X squared plus 16X minus 80 equals to zero. So therefore, the coefficients are A is 3, B is 16, C is negative 80. Let me evaluate B squared minus 4AC first. This is part of the quadratic formula. That is 16 square minus 4 into 3 into negative 80. Now, I'm getting my calculator ready. 16 square, we know that that's 256. This negative, this negative makes it positive. So that is 12 into 80, which is 960. And if I add up 960 and 256, this comes out to be 1216. Let me also take out the square root of 1, 2, 1, 6. So the square root is coming out to be 34.87. This is working level of accuracy of four decimal places. My bad, this is less than, this is four significant figures. So four decimal places would be 34.8712. This is 4 dp. This is what I got. Now, after we get this thing, what do we do? We'll apply the quadratic formula. Therefore, this is x is equals to negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac. The whole thing divided by 2a. So that is negative 16 plus minus square root of 1, 2, 1, 6. The difficult part is already done. Divided by 2 times 3. That is negative 16 plus minus 34.8712 divided by 6. So we are getting two answers, either or negative 16, negative 34.8712 divided by 6. So therefore, 34.8712 is being added to 16. Overall sign is negative divided by 6. This comes out to be negative 8.4785. Similarly, the other thing is negative 16 plus 34.8712. And let me highlight this thing over here. This is a negative sign. So therefore, 34.8712 minus 16. And it's divided by 6. So let me divide by 6. This comes out to be positive 3.1452. This is what we are getting. These are the two answers, whether they make sense or not. Whether they are positive, positive, whether they are negative, negative, whether they are positive, positive, we will just write it to gain full four marks. So that is what we are getting. Now, what is x? x is the speed. So when we move to part E, 
we will reject negative value because speed or for that matter any distance or time cannot be negative so speed cannot be negative therefore accept positive value and this value of x is 3.1452 now we were they were asking the answer correct to three decimal places so we will write this and then we will write negative 8.479 and over here positive 3.145 these answers are given correct to 3dp so therefore take care of the accuracy again for the next part when we have to use a value use 4dp value now what do we do it says calculate correct to the nearest minute let me underline it calculate correct to the nearest minute the total time john took to go up and come down the mountain so first of all let me write it down time to go up i think that was 20 over x i'll double check it time to go down that is 25 over x plus 2 so let me go up this is 20 over x that is the time to go up 25 over x plus 2 that's the time to come down and i'll evaluate both of them so therefore uh, this is 20 over 3.145 so 20 divided by 3.145 this comes out to be 6.3593 and over here this is 25 over 3.1452 let me write 52 over here plus 2 and let me double check the accuracy that is 20 divided by 3.1452 that is 6.583588 so let me just highlight this 3.6.3588 that becomes 8 now and this is 25 divided by a uh, 5. Point, uh 14 52 this comes out to be 4.8589 also double check i'm just double checking it double check that the time difference is still 1.5 minute so i'm just writing the time difference this is just a double check that is 4.8588 minus 6.3589 89 just taking the absolute value yes it's exactly 1.50000 minutes that is all good but over here they are interested in the total time so that means i could have calculated this one i could have doubled this value and then added 1.5 that's another approach so let me write this thing as 6.3589 plus 4.8589 so i'm adding this uh 6.3589 and this is 4.6.3589 plus 4.8589 this comes out to be 11.2178 but the answer is being asked in this question to the nearest minute so therefore this answer would be 11 minutes this is answer of part e this is the nearest integer basically that is what they have asked now let's double check the answer this is the expression for the first part that is let me just make this thicker this is the expression for the first part this is for the second part this is that equation this is what we have gotten this is the value of x there were two values and uh, they also have calculated the b square minus 4ac first and then they are writing the value of x now let me just double check one thing solve the equation giving both answers so first of all both answers were asked that is this answer and this answer and then time is this thing uh this is 11 hours one uh one question this is not in minutes so first of all this is good till here this is not in minutes this is in hours so that is something that i missed so this is hours so 
this is hours into 60 will give me minutes. So 0.2178 into 60, I'm doing it separately. That comes out to be 13.068 minutes. And we have 11 hours. That is 11 into 60. That is 660 minutes. Now add it up. So now if I add it up, 660 plus 13, that is 673 minutes. Let me double check. So this is 673 minutes. That is the answer that I got. So that is how this particular question is completed.